Get out of the box, get out of the box, you can go faster. Okay. This sucks. Do you want me to play? Give it to me, give it to me. I can help, I can help. Okay, let's just kill everyone, okay? Yeah, kill everybody. Murder! Murder that Bobby! To be fair, I have to do this a lot in the normal Metal Gear uh, Solid games because I'm bad. So now they won't be after you anymore because you killed them all, right? I would, yes. Okay. I would like to eventually try and do a run through of Metal Gear Solid 4 where I don't get detected at all. To try and see if I can. And just save that all That sounds way too hard. And just save all of that. I don't want to do it on the channel. That makes sense. Wait, don't move. Oh, okay, we're getting close to the secret cell. Take, Take him, him away. away. Oh my gosh, finally, is this a checkpoint? Wait, listen, listen. This is Big Boss, infiltration accomplished. Find the cell where they're holding Gray Fox. Check the walls, over. Well, we're really lucky they didn't just shoot us dead and they actually put us in a cell this one time we got caught. That's true, it's weird though that they What am I supposed to do? Did they take away all of our weapons and stuff? Hey, look. Oh, are nice. You, are you wanting to play? Yeah. Yeah, they took away everything. Really? Even our cardboard box? Even our cardboard box. Really? No but... cardboard box. Oh, my cardboard box! I'm sure you'll get it back. Wait, is this G Gay Fox? This looks like Gay Fox. You made it, rookie. I am Gay Fox. I think this might be racist. Get over here. Metal Gear is the ultimate weapon. An all-terrain, nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. I like he changed it to a non-racist accent. I didn't think it was racist. When it's finished, a nuclear strike can be launched from anywhere on the planet. We must do everything we can to destroy it before it's completed. There's only one way to destroy Metal Gear. Uh. By burping on it. <laughs> the only person that knows how to do that is it's Metal Jimmy. Gear's developer. Dr. Jonathan Metal Gear. Oh, Dr. Drago <laughs> Petrovich Madnar. <laughs> Why is he Madnar? What the heck? I like the idea that it's Dr. M. Gear. Dr. M. Gear. And he is being held prisoner somewhere inside this building. Find Dr. Madnar. Wait, why is he being held prisoner? He's the developer. I don't know. Maybe he also, was... I have a question. Why is the only way into this guy's cell through our cell and they put us in that cell? Wouldn't that just give away the fact that he's in here every time they went to feed him? Try talking to him again. I don't know. I mean, I guess they wouldn't know that we care that we know he's in here. Wait, try punching that wall over there. Because that's how we got out before it left. Call Big Boss. Call Big Boss. See if he says anything. Okay, just uh, a minute. Press the select button. Call Big Boss. What? Big, I want to know if Big Boss has anything to say. Okay. It's the select button. Call him. Call him. Is this who? Press X. This is Solid Snake. Wait, Come I'm in. Solid Snake. This is Solid Snake. Come in. They didn't want to talk to you, dude. Okay, well, I wanted to know if you did want oh, to Oh, wait, talk let's to see you. if that other who, hot Who plays like to this? Who, who does this? What? This is Solid Snake. Come in. How All do you right. change the frequency? You Okay, so look, why do you press the button, but then you go like that? I don't know. Just let go. It's just a button. I don't know. Can, can you talk to, like, 120.33 for me? Yeah, Diane. This, this is, is Solid Snake. I'm Solid Snake. Come inside. You don't get to be Solid <laughs> Snake. My belly button. <laughs> you don't get to be him. Do you want to play or do you want me to play? I don't care. Do you want to play? I don't care either way. You can play more if you want. Yay. Jelly time. Now, I want to play the other games more, though. This is probably my least favorite one I've played. Although I'm liking it now that you figured out what to do. Yay. We don't have any key cards. Oh, we're in the basement. We're in the basement? Yeah, we're in the basement. Oh, my. I am the shot maker. Why don't you let me read anyone's voice? Sorry. No, go ahead. You're the shot maker now, too. I'm the shit maker. No one's ever escaped <laughs> from my toilet. Oh, jeez. Okay. What, what are you supposed to do here? I don't know. Oh, go! Alright. Well, the shit taker killed you. <laughs> Why is he shooting, um... I think it's supposed to be shotgun shots. Are you sure? Because it looked like white substances. All right, just ignore Big Boss. Okay. All right, just ignore me, I this guess. This is Big Boss. I'm Big Boss, and I'm Boss and Bigs. Stop clicking that. Okay, do you want to fight Shipmaker? You fight Shipmaker. Um, 
I don't want to. I don't want to do shit makers shitting. Okay, give me just a second. Okay, I will fight the shit taker. Oh, good. Thank I am you. the shit taker. Not the shit taker. Ah! Okay, you're dying. This, this is death. This Are is you, death so is. is he invincible? I think you can't punch him. I think you have to try and go through those doors at the very bottom. All right, I'm ignoring Big Boss. I thought you got through here somehow. Oh, I, yep. Hey, look. Oh, hey, it's our stuff. We're coming to weapons My and equipment. equipment. What's that, transmitter? Ooh. Sweet. We're going to be trans. No. Our name's going to be Mitt. <laughs> what, Mitt Romney? <laughs> Well, he almost became president. No, he did not. He almost became president. No, he didn't. He wasn't even close to becoming president. He got far enough to at least get the Republican Party vote. He didn't, though. Yeah, he was. Wasn't well, he the... Oh, yeah, I guess he won the primary. You're yeah, right. You're right. Yeah. But he, like, I don't think he was even close to winning. No, but he got far enough to at least win the primary, so... Come on, get out of here. I wasted Jeez. a bunch of ammo. You need another ration. I know, but the shit taker really kicked the shit out of me. I'm sorry about the shit taker. That's okay. Can't get through here. I hope so... we don't meet his brother, the shit Quaker. By the way, it's much more accurate to play it with these. Oh, were you, really? Were you doing that? No, I was so using the, the analog stick. The D-pad seems like it's a lot more accurate. The Al dick pad. Yeah, although the D-pad on this thing hurts my thumb, so Dude. that's okay. Picked up so, card three. Leave this room and then go back in to pick up more ammo. And do that a couple of times. Okay, how many times can you do it? Um, I'm pretty sure at least a few. I wonder if it caps to 75 or 100. 93, wow, okay. All right, well, we're really... It must be 100, right? Maybe, let's go back and check. Yeah, I can't okay. carry anymore. Okay, good. Well, I think that's a good strat to do. A good strat, pro strat? Like, grab as many as you can before leaving did the Did you feel area. like it was a pro strat? I felt like it was a pro strat. Did you strat? feel like it was just an okay strat? I thought it was a pro strat. We got card three. I, just, <laughs> I put down that dog. Jeez! Yeah, that dog's dead. Euthanasia. Why did the euthanasia put down that dog, by the way? I don't know. Were you just stealing a joke? Yeah, I feel like the youth in Asia okay, should Jill, be nicer stop, to people. Stop. What? We, we don't steal jokes on this channel. We come up with our own. What Only. do you mean? You steal jokes all the time! From, from who? me! From who? From me! Who? Me! Did you call yourself Flumpy? Did you say your name is Flumpy? Mm, what Flumpy? Flumpy? I'm Flumpy. Alright, how do we get through here? Is there some kind of hidden wall or something? No, you just keep going. No, but then I'm just back here. How do you get into the middle parts? I don't know. Try punching the walls. Why do the dogs respawn? I don't know. That's if what I... happens, too. If your dog gets hit by a car or something, it just comes back to life. Oh, that's pretty cool. If the question mark oh, wait, shows hey. up, yeah. Yeah. What's this? What's this? Come on. Come on. This How is many like times Batman Arkham. How many times do I gotta hit it? You gotta, like, find hidden walls. Oh, no, it's like Dark Souls when you hit walls and they, like, disappear. I think you have to hit it a bunch. Try shooting it. Oh, okay. Yeah, do that. Whoa! Okay, chill. Too too much. Bro, you just, like, destroyed that place, yo! What is this? What is this? <gasps> That's a disguise! Enemy uniform! <gasps> the enemy uniform. Looks We're gonna like... look just like him! Didn't change anything. Why didn't it change anything? That's bad game design. They should have changed the sprite. That was really bad game design, and everybody should feel bad about that who worked on this game. No, they shouldn't. Yeah, they should. There's gonna be a ton of dead dog bodies in here, by the way. Wait, try that. Go back. Try that wall right there. Oh! Down? Oh, okay, never mind. So Sorry. I'm almost dead, Jill. Can I just go to the elevator? Yeah, yeah, please? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I would really like to get back to a checkpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, know what yeah, you're supposed yeah. to do in the basement. There's no other key cards. I mean, I can I can go down there and I can look for hidden walls. Yeah! Because it seems to me like there's got to be something down there, and we do have plastic explosives now. Mm hmm. Which I am glad I didn't waste, because I had no idea what they were for, so I just never touched them. I think that's a good idea. Um, so definitely punch the walls first before using the plastic explosives, so that way we don't waste them. So you have to understand, Big Boss and Snake are not friends. Okay. Big Boss is... Is Big Boss a shit person or a good person? Neither. Neither, okay. I mean, he starts out as a good person, but over time he becomes very jaded and he's... I, I think he's kind of selfish, is, but... Is Solid Snake a shit person or a good person? He's a good person. Okay. But he's not perfect. 
Um, is Roy Campbell a shit person or a good person? Roy Campbell tries to be a good person, but he's not... The government he works for isn't always. Oh, okay. Because he works for the U.S., right? Kind of. Well, I know for a fact that the uh, the actor sure, certainly doesn't like when people use his voice, that's for sure. So uh, don't be using Oh, his... you're talking about the AI thing that he... he yeah, said? don't be using his AI voice anywhere. Yeah, that, that whole thing is really weird. It's like, morally, I, I agree. I don't think you should be making AI stuff with people's voices that... Um, and then profiting off of it at the very least. No, you shouldn't profit off of it. But if you're not profiting off of it, I don't see any harm in it. Well, it depends on what you make them say. I mean, I wouldn't want someone to make AI of me saying, like, the N-word. That's true. Um, I think it should have to, like, say on it that this is AI and not the real So you person. think it should be regulated? Yeah, like, I think it should be regulated kind of like how Elon Musk made all parody accounts have to say that they're parody accounts sort of thing. Um, but, like, I think all AI voices should have to have somewhere, like, written in the description or something, this was made with an AI-generated voice and is not the real person. How do we not have the thing to get through here? Check three. I did. I How check... many key cards are in this game? I don't know. What, what? did you do? I actually... Did, you... did you swallow that transmitter? I don't know. C can you look that up? I accidentally used it. Okay. Look up what the transmitter is for, because if I did the wrong thing, I want to load. Oh, yeah. I think it's a good thing you got rid of it, because it track it's tracking you. Oh, really? Yeah, it was tracking you, and at some point in the game, like, it says the Ocelot unit will, like, come after you and make the game way harder if you don't get rid of it. Oh, so it's a good thing. So it's a good thing you got rid of it. A lot of people couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. You just click it. Well, a lot of people couldn't figure out how to get rid of it in the game. Oh, hey, hey! hey. hey. Alright, so... We need to use one of these. Oh, oh. Sorry. That's okay, take your time. We should really be using the binoculars more. We probably should. I just, I don't think of it. Yeah, well, let's start trying to think of it. I think it could help us. You're probably right. It's, just, it's hard to remember everything in this game, okay, Jill? I know. There's too much. It's too hard being a schmoopy de bottom. There's too much for me. It's too complex. Yeah, I know. I'm too stupid. It's tough. I'm too dumb. You know, by the way, speaking of that, I just played uh, some of... Uh, how did how you did, get in how there? How did I get in here? What, he jumped the fence? What? Bro. So I'm almost out of health because that dog somehow got in here? Stupid dog. Is this one going to do the same thing? This is why we're not dog people. Why? Because dogs are annoying in Metal Gear? Yeah. Okay. You know, I think PewDiePie would like this game. Would you like to know why? Uh, no. I haven't seen any barrels in it so far. That is such an old joke. <laughs> wow, jeez, why'd you blow out the microphone? Look at that. Sorry. Over. Is that like a joke from when he played Amnesia? Yeah, he used to say that every game um, used to have a, a barrel in it, at least one barrel, and he didn't like that. He... I always thought it was really funny, so now ever since I've heard him say that, I look for barrels in games to see, like, does every single game have a barrel in it? Because he genuinely, like, said, like, one time, I'm pretty sure every single game ever has a barrel in it. So now I look for that. This this many years later. It's been, like, I think t 11, 10 years since he said that. When I was 10 years old, I was watching him. So, um, yeah. I died because I couldn't get around that guy because he just kept running back and forth. I'm sorry. I have an idea. Okay. Let's cut back in. When, when I die. We're gonna die a bunch so I can get, uh, rations. Hey! Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe we died so much Wait, that we got something special. I got six! Wahoo! Let's get rid of that. Then let's wear this weird Yahtzee uniform looking thing. I feel in, I'm feeling Yahtzee right now, dude. Yeah, so I was gonna say, by the way, about the AI thing. Do you it's... have to go, like, out of the elevator and go back in to make another checkpoint or not? Yeah, is there a reason you like cutting people off, or do you just think you're more important than them? I just was else? asking real quick, I'm sure. Yeah, you do have to go out and in. But I saved it. Okay, stop, stop, stop. You bet my top off. Yeah, I'm gonna shake your stomach until you have to poop because you have poop problems. Well, can you go out and go back in again? Because you're stinky. Why? 
Because I just want to make sure we're safe. You want to make sure we got a checkpoint? Yeah, and I get nervous. And now I want you to talk more about what you were talking about. Do you want me to... Go back in! So you want me to just go back in? Yeah, now go back out. So now we're good. So now I'm going to make my way through the maze again, right? Yeah. I was just Kill the dogs! I was just going to say that with the thing with the Roy Campbell voice actor not liking people using his AI voice... All the way down. I, I thought we could go in here. Yeah, it's all the way down. I actually agree with him, like, that you shouldn't really be doing that, but here, here's here's my problem with it. My problem with it is not harmlessly making Roy Campbell sing God Bless the USA or something. Mm -hmm. My problem with it is when, when they say bad stuff, yeah. You make them say bad stuff, but here's my problem with it. The technology already exists for the government to make you say anything. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if they wanted to, like, let's say you were being a pain for the government. Mm -hmm. Let's say you were protesting against a new war so you have the moral high ground right in your mm -hmm. protest mm -hmm. what if they just said like i don't know let's record him saying that uh black lives matter is stupid and a bunch of racist stuff and that they think uh women are worthless and that they punch puppies for fun yeah that's really wrong it's like well you don't know my problem is you don't know what is going to be real or not, oh. and and you can say, I didn't memorize it, okay? I'm just looking. Do you remember where it is? Yes. Okay, sorry, I don't. That's okay. My problem with this is I worry that it's going to hit a point where somebody could do that kind of stuff, and I think it's already getting there, and even if you regulate that for normal people, the government does not have to abide by it. Mm -hmm. Who's to say that they don't just say, actually we're gonna do this anyway mm -hmm. they do that right now did you know that if i went and threw someone in a van it's kidnapping but if the feds did it because that person was uh, deemed a terrorist there are loopholes in in the law for them to get away from behaving that way yeah even if that person wasn't a terrorist correct yeah so what are we doing here you know what i mean it's like mm -hmm. you pass these laws but you don't follow them yourself that's yeah. always been my problem with the government and it's also my problem with a lot of police, too, is they will pass these laws, but then I see them break them. Yeah. I'll see a cop turn on their siren to get through a red light. Or, you know, I'll see them... I don't really know how it works, but I've seen them just kind of take off and, in my opinion, endanger people by yeah. doing it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe they had a good reason for doing it, but it sure didn't look like it to me when I saw it. And... My point that I'm getting to with that is a lot of these people, they don't follow their own rules. It's kind of like those, what's this? Is this a flak jacket? Bomb blast suit. Cool. Interesting. It's kind of like those politicians. Remember those conservative politicians who would be posting stuff and they would be like, yeah, the gays, they're such a problem. These gays. And then these Republican conservative politicians were hooking up with each other as both men in the bathrooms of places. Yeah. Because they were closeted gay people who were ashamed of who they were, but they wanted to be in charge. And that is the real definition of internalized homophobia. A lot of people like to weaponize that term, uh, but the real reason for it originally existing was because of bad people like that who um, do that sort of thing where they say, like, uh, don't do as I do. But do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, that that one. I forgot the saying. Sorry, but yeah, that's that's basically it. Sorry, I was trying to think while doing this. I actually think I did a pretty good job on this maze. And people also like to. Uh, I think you did a good job too. Thank you. People uh, also like to weaponize the term internalized misogyny, which yeah, I don't actually. I don't really pressure. think that's a real thing most of the time. I mean, I guess maybe sometimes it could be. Um, in very specific situations. Most of like these Stockholm terms syndrome. are things that people throw around to win an argument and not things that are actually common. Yeah. Like maybe like once of, in a while. But... A lot of these terms are very specific situation based. So internalized misogyny, I think an example of that would be in the Middle East in certain areas where um, extreme versions of Islam are turned into Sharia law and then used by the government to oppress minority groups. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, Christians and gay people. Yeah, and because and... you grew up believing that stuff, then it's, like, it kind of internalized in you, even though it's against e even you. Even if you're a woman. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, I think that's a specific situation that because, would work. Because women there are treated poorly in a lot of those areas where that kind of um, mm -hmm. religious 
extremism is pushed. Yeah. And because of that, they are used to that and they think, well, this is a woman's place. This I, is what it's supposed to be like. Yeah, I need to be subservient to my husband in all ways. I need to do this and that. And It's just one of those things I think is very unhealthy, but okay. And the thing with that is it shouldn't be a have to, it should be a choice. If you want to choose to be like that, I think that's totally fine. Yeah, you I know, don't care. You Are have... you wanting to play? Sure. Because you know this area. Do you remember those doors yeah. we couldn't unlock? Because you have the choice for it, but you know if... Wait, what happens if you wear the, the enemy disguise? Okay, let's try it. You're saying you have the choice for it? Yeah, but um, if you don't have the choice for it, um, and you're just saying, oh, well, it's okay, that's when I kind of think it's like internalized misogyny, you know? Yeah, I agree with that. And also, I wonder if these guys will not see you. Oh, wait, okay, so I guess the enemy disguise does nothing? Nope, the enemy disguise does nothing. You could just die if you want. Just let it go back to that checkpoint. We were right there. Um, what, is, what, what does the enemy disguise do, then? I don't know, look it up. Oh, hey, listen to this, listen to this. You need that later. Um, so, in you know Schneider? Yeah, the Schneider cut. <laughs> no, not that. That's like a re uh, that's like a uh, far too German cut of Metal Gear Solid, or I mean of uh, of Justice League. Metal Gear Solid. No, so Schneider, you have to contact him. His frequency was originally on the manual of the game. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's not here anymore, and it's interesting because. Uh, you were supposed to get a call from him in the third floor of building one, mm -hmm. which happens in a random random room, but it doesn't always happen. Mm -hmm. um, there's a like really glitched? there's a really obscure way of getting the call from Schneider. While in the room where the west elevator is on the third floor, open the codec and tune past one twenty point seven nine. Try this. Try this. Go to one twenty point seven nine in the codec. Just a minute. Okay, that does not work. So we need like key card four or something. Try try something calling like him. Okay. It's the select button. One twenty point seven nine. No no no. You don't press X. You just move the thing. Stop pressing X multiple times. Move the right analog stick. Right analog stick. Or left. Oh okay. So seven nine. You 120.79. said. One twenty point seven nine. Yep. Keep going. Try calling. Uh, they said that it can make it pop up. His frequency is 120.79. I thought you had to be in a specific room for it. Uh, at the moment when Big Boss mentions Schneider, you're supposed to dial him? And then he'll tell you where to find the gas mask or missile. So he was supposed to tell us where to find that stuff. Oh, that was that guy we never met, that yeah. Schneider guy? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you, so we the were Schneider cut. So we were supposed to, to read the manual to know where to find that guy. Yeah, but I don't have the manual. Yeah, because unless, this game's so fucking old. Unless it's in the manual for the... I'm gonna check the Metal Gear Solid HD collection manual. I feel like... Um, that's I feel a like, mistake. I feel like Big Boss should have said, check your game manual or something, you know? Like, it doesn't have to be wrong to say things like, press you're X. You're yelling, you're yelling. Sorry. But I'm just saying, it doesn't have to be, like, weird for games to say, like, press X or press A, because, like, in a lot of games that I've played, um, like, the actors in the game will say stuff like, oh, yeah, press this button, and it'll help bring up your blah, blah, blah. Right. I think that's cool. So why didn't he just say, like, check your game manual? I don't know. I really don't know. Could have been, like, all meta and such. Did you want me to be in this area, or do you want me to go back to the elevator? Uh, I wanted you to check those things. I don't know where we go now. I already checked those doors. They don't work. Okay, well then maybe it's time to go somewhere else. Okay. There's warranty and customer support, a bunch of things about how to play. Then the manual repeats in Spanish for people who speak Spanish, which is not me. Because uh, I did not pay attention in Spanish class, to be honest. I thought it was boring. That's funny. Um, so, my Spanish teacher was sexy, though. What then the I remember she got pregnant, and I wished it I, I was like, it should have been me! Did we already no! do this? What the heck? Did we already do this room? I don't think we did. I didn't know where to go. 
and I didn't know where it came from. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Da, 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 got Nigel. 